can't seem to land his double tower. Damn it! Hey, over here, I think I can help. Who are you? Wow, excuse me, kind gentleman. That's not the way you say hi to a professor. I am Professor Romanoff and I specialise in scooter riding and learning flat tricks. Um, okay, so how can you help me? Well, by a matter of fact, I have very highly trained spies that have been watching you this morning as you've been trying your double whip flat and I believe I could help you learn it. Um, okay, if you think it'll work then let's give it a try. Alrighty then, sweet as, according to my notes, there is four simple steps that you need to follow to learn the double whip. But first, roll the intro! Love, love, you're already home. Uh. Party's over and you don't look so good. Hi baby, I need to be my bomb. Every day, three days, I'm not going to be a good one. I'm 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 going to be a good one. Hey yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nick Sam, if you do not already know me. And today, by the title and by that little skit I filmed, hopefully you did enjoy that skit. But I'm going to be teaching you guys how to double it flat on a scooter. You guys requested it, so I'm going to do it. This is like a little new series I'm doing during quarantine. Just doing a bunch of tutorials on flat tricks you want to learn. So today, we're doing the double whip. Yesterday I did a bra flip. Today's the double whip. So let's get straight into it. Four easy steps you need to follow. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so there is four simple steps in learning how to double whip flat. So step number one is your approach to the takeoff or where you're going to do the double whip flat. Step number two is how you're going to do the double whip flat, the actual motion of it. Step number three is control in the air of the double whip. And step number four is actually landing the double whip and riding away nice and clean. Alrighty, step number one to be able to do the double whip flat is your approach to where you're going to be doing the double whip flat. So you want to be being a nice flat surface like a bit of road or on a footpath or over at a park or something where you can perform the double whip flat and you want to be getting Quite a little bit of speed, not too much, not too little, just enough where you can get enough height to perform the double flat. I'll put a clip in after this of just the right amount of speed you should be getting to be able to perform the double flat. And that's step number one, just finding a nice flat surface and getting enough speed. Alrighty, step number two is actually doing the motion of the double whip. A double whip is a bit different to just doing a single tail up because this is where your wrists and arm motion come into play to be able to get the double whip around really quick. So you want to start off in a neutral position, whether you stand regular or goofy, it doesn't really matter. But then when you take off, you flick with your back foot preferably because if you flick with your front foot, your front foot's at the front of the deck and you're not going to get enough spin around to get the double whip flat. You can if that's how you do it. That's all right, it's just gonna be a little bit harder to land at first, but then it'll get easier and easier. But usually you wanna flick with your back foot, have like a quarter of your foot off the deck, so where your balls or your feet are, that's where the deck should end, just so you can get maximize that flick as much as you can. So as soon as you flick, you flick it around, and it should be able to go to like here by itself without having to do anything, and then the rest is with your wrist and arm. So if you watch me, when I do it, I flick it, and then my wrist and arm move to get it around. So you just want to practice that flat, just like getting that motion around. So it's wrist and arm. So you flick and use your wrist and arm to get the rest around. The first whip should come around by itself. So you should be able to flick it and the first whip comes around like that. But if you try and do a double whip without using your wrist and arms, it's only going to get to there and you're not going to get the flick around quick enough. So you flick, you use your arms, get it around. So, like, so here's the difference. So if I don't use a flick, that's how quick it comes around. If I use a flick in my arms and stuff, that's how quick it comes around. So as you can see there, it's a big difference in whether if I don't use my arms, it comes around super slow. If I use my arms, super quick. So just practice that motion out in your room, out on some grass, out on the footpath or whatever. Just practice your double motions, get them down perfect. You should be able to just flick it, flick it, get it good. I just did a triple whip then, but you get what I mean. Practice the motion as much as you can. Get it down super dialed, so then when you take it to like, actually trying the trick, you get it so much easier. Alrighty guys, step number three is actually controlling the double whip. This is probably the most hardest part to do. When you jump and do the double whip, you don't want to be all just loose and letting the double whip try and do what it wants. I'll put a video on the screen now of how not to do the tail whip. 
and what I mean by being all loose and not getting this double whip around properly. What you want to do is actually have control of your scooter. So stay pretty stiff on your scooter and as you take off you want to flick it and actually like use your wrist and arms to bring it around. Another technique I do when learning, when I was learning the double whip to get it around a bit better is I practice on a bit of road, going up, putting my front foot down, flicking the double whip, getting it around and jump back on. That'll help you a lot because it'll get you used to actually doing the motion of the double whip and then you can slowly like jump a little bit earlier to get back on the deck. So at first you might start here, do the double whip and then just do that and then you might progress up to doing the double whip and then at like one and a half whips jumping on. And you might progress to doing only one tail whip and jumping on. So like that. And then you might progress to just literally putting your foot down for a split second and then jumping on for the rest. So like that and then that. So that'll help you control the tail whip in the air. So when you take it to actually doing the tail whip and executing it, it'll be a lot easier. Alrighty guys, step number four. We are actually gonna comp combine step one, two, and three all together. Combine them all together to perform the double whip flat. This is where all those steps come into play. You gotta use your arms and wrists, jump as high as you can, control the double whip, get it around. So once again, you take off from where you're gonna take. You usually like have like a line on the footpath path where you're gonna take off from. Act as if you're coping. And then so when you take off from there, do the bunny hop and as soon as your front wheel leaves the ground, that's when the flick should start. Have your foot about a quarter out from the deck. So as you can see, balls on my feet, uh, on the edge of the deck, front wheel lift, back wheel lift, flick it around using your arms and wrists to get that momentum around the end. And then as soon as you double has come around, time to spot it. So swish it like an ant on your deck, get your both feet onto the deck. So one, two, swish, and then spot your landing right away, nice and clean. Now I'll show you some double whips so you can see what I mean. Let's go to the slow mo. Alrighty guys, so we're back on the audio. As you can see, as I approach the spot where I'm doing the double whip, my front wheel leaves the ground, my back foot flicks the double whip. Using my arms and wrists, I catch it, land nice and clean, and right away victorious. Alrighty guys, that is going to conclude it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and you did... Oh, hold up. Oh. Jeez, I don't feel so good, eh? Oh. 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 Good day there guys, I have seen you've mastered the infamous double tail whip. Alrighty, you have followed my step by step tutorial that I have written down in my beautiful one page book, which has nothing on it, um, but you have followed my steps and you have completed the double whip. Alrighty, next stop by the looks of it on my zero word page, we have, I'm not too sure. So that is up to you guys to decide what tutorial I am teaching next. So comment down below in the comment section what you want to see next. And as always guys, from Nick Seddon, he told me to say this, he's pretty sick at the moment. Peace out.